Hello and thank you for joining the Gad About Dad as we head up to Utopia Island in Agada and then we're going to go snorkelling in the Red Sea. Is it worth the £45? Join us and see. Just grabbing our flippers. Is this After a one hour coach journey which takes in part of the desert, fellow hotel to pick us up and fare the guests, we're ready to join our yacht. It looks incredibly luxurious. We just walked this plank and we're soon aboard. So this is the top deck of our yacht for today. There's plenty of seats. There's a nice awning overhead to protect us for the sun. And there's some stunning views of the crystal clear turquoise seas. The Red Sea really does look marvelous. We're just heading downstairs, down this spiral staircase. And there's a, a quaint little indoor seating area. It's a very, very nice area. We didn't spend much time in here. We, we prefer to spend time on deck. This is where the snacks were later on in the day after we'd visited Utopia Drink. Island. I don't know, I'm to Lovely think. clear blue crystal waters. Hello fishies, we're coming to get you. So after 15, 20 minutes aboard the yacht, we had to board a small boat, which will take us to the island of Utopia. Okay. The large yacht can't get any closer. Go on, have a guess. How many people do you think you can fit on one tiny boat? Did you guess? This many? No, neither did I. So after a couple of minutes in a very smooth ride along the Red Sea, we were on the sand of Utopia. We were the first visitors of the day and we had the choice of sun lounges for our four hour visit to Utopia Island. It's called an island, it's more like an absolutely massive sandbank. There's a fabulous cool breeze and a relaxing chilled atmosphere on the island. We thought we were the only guests that were going there that day, just, just our boat full. But it turns out that some other people turned up. It never once felt crowded at all. It really did feel like a fairly exclusive place. I'm okay here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's sort of made of a foam, and it doesn't get too hot, and it's got a pillow. A real utopian sunbed, I think. Ah, oh, the water is so cool. Let's have a look at some of the prices here in Utopia. Who would have thought a can of Coke in Utopia would be three euros? The waiters come to your sun lounges, they take your orders and they deliver your drinks and snacks to your beds. Or you could take a stroll over to the bar, it's entirely up to you. We never ever felt pressure to give any tips. It was an excellent service. So there's a lovely breeze here on the Utopia beach. As you can see, lovely clear blue water. Uh, it's very salty, so you'll float very well. And um, if you take a big gulp in your mouth, it doesn't taste very nice. There's a real lack of fish. So I had a bit of a float round. Couldn't see one single solitary fish in the 20 minutes I was in the water, which is a real shame. So in Utopia, there's a volleyball court. Who wouldn't want to play volleyball in 45 degree heat? That's a question I often ask myself. There's these really strange little seating areas. I suppose they're for loved up couples. The last one is in the shape of a love heart. Some, some people are getting into it, but never mind. There's the volleyball court. Nice. 
nice undercover seating area. Plenty of bean bags. And at the very, very bottom, and there's a bar. Of course, it wouldn't be Egypt if you didn't have shisha pipes with it, so obviously, the shisha pipes, I'm assuming that's an extra charge. There's a bar. The water is free. You must keep yourself hydrated. There's a restaurant which is down there. We were also told that we would have to come and bathe in this water over here, not to go swimming. I think the currents are very strong. It is incredibly windy, so I suppose that's a bit of a clue. There's a real barbecue smell coming through from somewhere. There's some hammocks. Looks like nobody's actually brave enough to go in them. Can you blame them? It is a gorgeous island. The whole vibe of the island is one of um, serenity and, and calmness. It was just such an incredibly chilled atmosphere. It really was a great place to visit. You are only allowed to swim in certain areas, as you can see by the, um, I don't know what they're called, but the area that's marked off. So they don't want you swimming in this part, but you can swim in this part. And there are just some beds as far as the eye can see. Nice and refreshing. Ordered another passion fruit smoothie for myself. It really is the drink of the gods. That is amazing. Lunch is included on the trip to help yourself prepare. There seems to be lots of availability. Chicken for the chicken. We're just about to leave Utopia Island. Um, when you get on the boat, they want you to wash your feet, but unfortunately I forgot to wash my feet, but never mind, they chased after me and made sure I got the special treatment by throwing a bucket of water over my feet and my crocs, so don't forget to do that when you get on like I did. Don't cause an international incident. We're just going to drive out to the Red Sea and then we're going to go looking at some fishies. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. In the afternoon, we drove out into the Red Sea. The uh, crew members found a fabulous spot to moor the yacht. Um, Charlie entered the Red Sea in his way, and I entered it in mine. I'm old, couldn't risk breaking a hip as I crash into the sea. The crew feed the fish to give us um, a slightly better view. The sea is the second saltiest in the world, so it's best to bring a snorkel and avoid swallowing it, any of it if you can. Um, if you swallow it and get in your eyes, you really do know about it. It, it. it stings and it doesn't taste very nice. A little bit did leak through my snorkel, so I know this from experience. We spent quite a few hours here. Uh, the boat played music, we were offered soft drinks and um, some very, to be honest, uninspired snacks. A couple of breadsticks and a couple of crisps. Nothing to write home about, uh, which we may have just fed to the fish. Uh, 
So the snorkeling was great, Utopia Island was great. My only slight little moan would be that the, the price of the drinks was a little bit on the pricey side. Even for even for five class standards in Egypt, it's a lot of money. Hungry, hungry fish. Well, that was Utopia Island and snorkeling off the Red Sea. We're just heading back now to the hotel where we will catch our bus. I'd give that trip, I think a seven out of 10. I think Utopia are pushing the prices up a little bit on the high side I'll be honest we spent nearly 50 pound on six or seven drinks maybe eight drinks but 50 pound for eight drinks in Egypt's a lot of money um, but no absolutely loved the snorkeling it was nice to get some free drinks on the boat the snacks were a bit lacklustre it was just a few crisps and breadsticks but I've not been eating today anyway so it's making a difference to me but no get the chance come and give it a go see what you think pulling into the dock it's quarter past five it's been a long Day. Why is relaxing and having fun so tiring? We've still got an hour's coach drive to do. Ugh. I hate coach drives. Hey! Nice, you're to stop. What's the next day? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to having a ding dong about where to park because they seem to have stopped right in the middle of the sea the happy dolphin is not making other people happy it's taking a lot of skill this he made it he did it bye for now